you will now be subject to stringent penalties and fines with rigorous enforcement behind them. We have to do smart things to keep ourselves, to keep our families, to keep our loved ones, to keep our frontline workers safe. Now is not the time to plan any travel, even to other cities or provinces, or to attend large family gatherings or dinners. Now is not the time to host or attend a potluck with friends. Now is not the time to plan for a family reunion. It's time to talk seriously about defunding police services. Stay at home for two weeks if you're sick or exhibiting the symptoms of COVID-19, such as cough and fever. If we see that people are not physically distancing, <coughs> we will issue tickets. They are sort of following along the impromptu march. These provisions include the current limit on mass gatherings to 50 attendees. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I have not committed any offense today. I am not in a group, and yet you're going to come and pick on me. What is your name and badge number? This is Alberta! Three times in a week. Alberta! Alberta, Canada! This is happening and you guys are letting it? Courts will also have increased powers to administer fines of up to $100,000 for a first offence and up to half a million dollars for a subsequent offence. This is no peace. No peace is what they are chanting while also dancing. Charities, faith groups, businesses and individuals are all fighting the pandemic in their own ways, contributing to food banks and homeless shelters. This video posted by Street Church on its Facebook page shows dozens of people lining up shoulder to shoulder to get food, hugs and blessings, ignoring our government's pleas to implement social distancing. Both were fined $1,200. With the first offense, we'd have a maximum of $100,000. Subsequent ones could be higher. So um, for subsequent uh, offenses, it'd be a maximum of $500,000. We've all seen the pictures online of people who seem to think they're invincible. Well, you're not. Enough is enough. Go home and stay home. All of them. And because they love Madupe, and Madupe love them. Now, a number of community groups have organized protests to help advance this important work. And some of them are organizing protests that will take place tomorrow. And I support, always have, Edmontonians' right to protest. Non-essential businesses in the province will be closed. Remaining open, grocery stores, pharmacies, takeouts and liquor stores. Cutting access to alcohol, authorities say, would cause problems. God is doing a new thing. People are waking up to their identity and why they're here on the planet, guys, that you don't have to just live in being stuck with these addictions, guys. We love you guys so much to serve you guys. We get to oh, preach the gospel. The <coughs> <coughs> I'm on my way to the protest and look at this. They know that it's gonna, the crowd's gonna pass by this street, and so they plant these big rocks. Why are you guys putting rocks over there? That's not cleaning up. You're putting rocks over there on purpose. Why are you putting them right there though? Because you know people are gonna be at Nathan Phillips Square. You shouldn't be putting rocks right there. That's on purpose. You're putting rocks over there on purpose. Oh, wow. Look at this. I can't believe this. Put rocks in the path of the protest. Are you trying to incite violence? And we know that things like laughing or cheering are also things that can cause increased risk of spread. <laughs> An entire room full of people all laughing at the same time, all cheering at the same time. Uh, singing is something that can project uh, small particles. You need to space out and have distancing. How many experts do people need to have? And so I guess my comment would be, and I'll just make a comment, shame on you for pushing somebody so far that they had to take more action than just education. Stay home. Try to stay at least six feet away from other people outside your home.
That means rigorously following simple, basic rules like these. But we simply cannot risk letting the virus loose in Alberta. That would create a public health catastrophe. A strange side effect from the pandemic, emergency rooms are nearly deserted. We've seen a 40% drop in the emergency room visits. You know, this is a phenomena that's being seen throughout the East Bay. Our volumes are significantly down from normal. What well, we started to notice that there was almost up to a 50% reduction in patients. We will strictly enforce quarantine orders to ensure compliance. Steps from where you took a knee, though, Prime Minister, there was uh, uh, an Ottawa restaurant allowing customers to eat their pizza socially distanced on a patio. They're facing an $880 fine uh, for violating the same emergency orders that you violated. Too many people continue uh, to igno ignore these guidelines that have been issued by uh, Dr. Hinshaw and the government of Alberta. Peace officers and police will be able to issue fines of up to $1,000. Police have been here the whole time. They have been facilitating protesters to go where they are wanting to go, and that's been all through downtown. RCMP have thrown out a $1,200 fine given to a Cochrane teen for not practicing social distancing. The teen was sitting in a vehicle with his friend yesterday. So somebody just got arrested for sitting on... The step with no sign, six feet apart from a stranger. These legally binding rules include operational daycares. There is music uh, and dancing, uh, some celebration. $1,000 per violation. These new enforcement measures are a reasonable, prudent, but necessary response. <laughs>